Hello, Sneaky here. If you've been asking uh, how to make maps for the TD Deathmatch game mode, um, nice and easy, made it really easy for you. Uh, first thing you've got to do, uh, this tutorial is going to cover how to set up Hammer for the uh, the game mode and for Gary's mod, and how to edit the tutorial map, which I'll be providing you, um, and basically set it up so we can stick it on the server and we can have a game on it, which would be nice. There isn't really much on it at the moment, so it'd be really wicked to see what you guys come up with um, while I'm working on the game mode. Right, so the first thing you want to do is, if you look on the links down below, then you'll see the uh, 2DM tutorial.zip. It'll be at www.surfhd.co.uk forward slash 2DM tutorial.zip. And you want to download that and open that one up. Um, and... Uh, Right, so you want to open up a folder somewhere in your computer. My mapping folder will have to do for now. And you want to extract the files from that zip into that folder. So we'll just call it um, tutorial files. And we'll just drag those into there. I've assumed you've already downloaded and opened the zip. I'm not going to cover how to do that. I mean, seriously. Come on. All right. So, we've got our tutorial files over there, nicely there. Now we need to set up Hammer. So, you're going to have to open up Steam. And, I mean, there's lots of different versions of Hammer for different games. And different mappers will give you different opinions on which one is the best. But I use this, and hey, it works for me. So, fuck it. This is the one I'm going to tell you. Tools. So yeah, you want to go to games, view games library, and then tools, like where it says games, just use tools. And then the one you want to find is Source SDK Base 2013 Multiplayer. Um, it's already installed on mine, but if it wasn't, if I right clicked it, it would give me the option to install game. So you just right click it, and install game, and it'll take a while, you know the standard. You know, next, 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 that kind of shit. Install it to the same one as the rest. Once you're done, um, there's no point in double clicking it because it's not a fucking game. You can't actually play it. It's just the files. <clears throat> so you want to go right click and properties and local files and browse local files. Inside the uh, the bin folder of this, if we look around, we should find a hey, hammer. Excellent. And that's the editor which we're going to use to actually make the maps. So uh, yeah, just ignore my deliciously full of icons just up there. I already got a shortcut. So hey, yeah, but you want to make a shortcut to your desktop, so right click, send to desktop if you've got any room or whatever. Fuck it. And then you want to run it. So just double click it. And it'll give you some options. You won't have Gmod to start with. You'll just probably have Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. And probably something else. Okay. So to start with, just choose Half-Life 2 Deathmatch because you just need to use any configuration just to get yourself started. So I'm gonna click OK. And you're going to go click on Tools at the top, and then Options. And you're going to see these configurations here. So what we want to do is to start with, we want to add your game data file, which isn't this, actually. We want to click Edit next to the configurations, and I'll, I'll take you through it from the start. So we'll call this New Gmod. It can be anything. You can call it whatever the hell you want, just, just something. New Gmod, nice new setting, all fresh. Add, you want to click Add next to the game data files. And we don't want to use the source SDK based ones. We want to actually use Gary's mod itself. So we go to your just your Steam apps, common Gary's mod bin folder. And you want your Gary's mod.fgd, which is the standard descriptor file for the entities to use in Hammer and more specifically some of the lure entities within Gary's mod. So we want to load that one in there. You want to set your default point entity class. Well I mean you, you could set this to be anything but let's set this to info player start. There we go. And we want the default solid entity class to be a func detail for reasons which I will cover later. That's just the standard kind of thing. You want your cordon texture. 
you want to go into this, uh, click browse next to the cord and texture, and you want to type in tools with two S's, and that will give you this texture here, tools slash tool skybox, and that will allow you to have sky in the background of your map. Yay! Um, and then you need your game executable directory and your game directory and your ham vmf directory um i'm going to go back to my other gmod so i can show you what it actually looks like once it's all set up so for this one you can basically just copy and paste this because this this will work in yours so just steam user dial gary's mod gary's mod and then just copy and paste that and then underneath it copy and paste it again and then just put slash maps because that's going to output your compiled maps into the maps folder inside your Gary's mod. Um, so that's good for that one. And then we're going to click on general tab. Autosave is up to you. I personally like autosave. Uh, three minutes is fine, something like that. 30 iterations. Just because Hammer is a mm, an evil beast sometimes. And even though it should be working, maps can get corrupted, the files get corrupted. And you need to roll back, and it's really useful to save all the time. And if you accidentally forget, then the auto save can be a godsend. Even though sometimes the auto saves get fucked, so you just want to, yeah. Right. So two D views, um, default to fifteen degree rotations. Make sure that's on. Grid. Make sure it's size sixty four. Oh, six forty one. Um, Right, okay, 3D views. You wanna make sure the model render and the detail render and the back clipping plane, just, just whack them all the way up to the top. Um, forward speed, you can crack up to the, like 10,000 as well and put the time to top as about four seconds or five seconds. That just means it's, uh, you can go really fast, but it'll take a while to build up that speed. Uh, materials you can leave and then build programs. This is important. You need to choose, uh, in, in your new settings, you need to, um, put these settings in I you can basically copy them from the other ones I think you can it shouldn't really matter so yeah basically you can just go into Halfway 2 Deathmatch and literally just copy and paste the first four like just duh, 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 all of them into your new profile so it looks like that and then for the last one just go back into game configurations just copy the same Steam user there, garage more, garage more maps. Steam user there, garage more, garage more maps. Um, it just basically that's where it stores all its shit inside your maps folder. And these ones are the game executable, which is just what it, it needs just to know what it is to run. And the VSP executable, which is how it makes the map. And the Viz executable, which is how it does optimization. And the RAD for lighting. And then you should be all configured, but should be. It doesn't really work like that. So you're going to click apply and it's going to go, yeah, you need to restart. Yep, 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 we know that. But the problem is, is Steam Pipe fucked everything up. So there's an extra step. So you want to close Hammer and you want to go into your Gary's Mod folder. So Steam Apps, common, Gary's Mod, bin. And then there should be a file in here called game info. Where is it? Oh, no. Sorry, Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod. Gameinfo.txt. So that's Steam Apps, Common, Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod, Gameinfo.txt. And what you want to do is literally, if you get the uh, zip file, which I had open a minute ago, it has Gameinfo.txt in there. So if you just drag that and replace the one that's already in here, it's an updated one which contains the, um, the additional stuff, so it'll work with Steam Pipe. Yay, really nice. Otherwise, it, it can give you errors like missing wireframe errors and stupid shit because it can't actually read the VPKs properly or, or something along those lines. So anyway, you've copied in over the game info.txt and we're looking good. So then you can open up Hammer again. So we're going to click that. And it should automatically load up the profile you chose last time. So that would be your Gmod and Gmod. And it's all looking nice. So now we want to go. This is Hammer. This is all configured, our lovely source map engine and um, now we want to go open file open and we want to open my tutorial um, I've got a, another copy of it open here but wherever you've extracted the map to there's the VMF file in there 
and you need that. So we're going to open that. Right. This is the hammer view. You can drag that into the middle or you can hold down control and press A. If you press control and A at any time, it will resize the windows. At first glance, hammer can look a bit daunting. It looks a bit like, oh my god, what is this? But it's actually really simple. You've got four views. You've got the top left view, which is your 3D view. To start with, let's have a look at that. So this middle divider, you can just drag and, and resize around. So we're going to drag that all the way to the bottom right so we get a full 3D view. We're going to click inside that view and press the Z key to enable flight. And now we can look around and we can use WASA, WSAD, and the mouse to fly around the level. Hey, and for those who've played the beta, well, the <laughs> beta, I mean the pre release alpha or whatever the fuck, my 11 hour coding stint result will recognize this right here. This is the map, this is the backdrop. Um, I've removed the nicer textures, so in the, uh, the tutorial, you don't need any custom textures or anything. This will just work off the map. You can just use the textures in here and give me the map with no custom packing or anything and it'll just work and that'd be really easy so until we get onto the more advanced tutorials and i'll be doing more covering how to really spruce up the map and do some more nice stuff let's just basically edit this a bit and we'll add a few more blocks we'll put a different start position we'll, we'll that kind of thing we'll just mix it up a bit so this is our 3D view. We can see that this plane, there's nothing here because in the game we're looking like that. So we just want it to be flat. You don't want to lift up, you don't want any kind of geometry there because it'll just clip through the camera and look fucking awful. So we're normally zoomed in about here. So this is our normal zoom view. This is what we'll normally see. Got a nice little hills in the background and that kind of thing going to leave that for now. For now we're just going to learn about adding slots to stuff and then I'll cover texturing and that kind of stuff further on in tutorial. So now we've had a good look around. We know what we're looking at. We want to add some blocks here. We want to add a few things here. So let's move the camera so we're in a good view. Let's just I didn't put much at the end. Let's put some extra blocks there just to add a bit of cover. And we'll press Z again just to take ourselves out of that. When you're not in the Z view, you can still use WASD to look around. You can use the arrow keys to look left and right, and you can use the mouse wheel to move backwards and forwards as well to zoom in and out, which is really useful at all times. So now we want to move things around. The 3D view is really useful for selecting things because when you look at a complex map, it can just look like a jumble of geometry, just vertices, lines, dots everywhere, and it's unintelligible. So it is really useful to fly around in the 3D view and just click what you want to edit. And in this, this case, what we want to do is this map, as you can see, because it's a 2D game on a 3D plane, to stop players getting knocked off, we have this box, which is a thin box, just big enough for a player. So we play inside this little region here. But editing inside that is going to be a bit far So we're going to click that face there and we hold down control and press A then E. Control and A resets the views, control and E centers the 2D views on what we've just been clicking on there. So we can use the mouse wheel on each of these views. You don't have to click, you can just highlight over them and use the mouse wheel to zoom out to an appropriate view so we can see the whole of this here. And I can explain to you about the different views. We've got the top right one now, which is the top down view. It's a bird's eye view. You can use the arrow keys to pan about and the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And we can see that this face we've just done here is really thin because this is the top down view. This is the map, all the start points, everything like that in its tiny little line there. So that's cool. What we want to do is we want to move it. Now there are the different planes. That's top down and then the bottom right plane is, for the sake of our game mode, it is the way the game is laid out in 2D. The bottom right is how it's laid out, literally 